Hello, my name is Rick Gallagher and I'm an associate here at BSKB. Today I'll be discussing Cubist Pharmaceuticals Inc. versus Hospira Inc. In Cubist v. Hospira, a patent had been reissued with claims that referred to a chemical compound by a depiction of a structural formula for the compound. The compound in question was the known antibiotic daptomycin, which is one of three compounds recited as parts of a novel combination in the claims. The patentee later discovered that the structural formula was erroneous. In fact, the structural formula showed an actual compound different from the one which was intended to be a part of the claim. The patentee used certificate of correction procedure to correct the error in the reissued patent, rather than correcting the error by filing another reissue application. Even though this involves significant change and depended upon post-filing scientific evidence, the Federal Circuit held that the Certificate of Correction was properly issued by the PTO. The Federal Circuit noted that the applicants sought a Certificate of Correction to correct a structural formula in the claims and specification, and pointed out that the erroneous structural formula was based on a previous misunderstanding of the chemical structure of the claim compound. Specifically, the structural formula erroneously depicted the L isomer of the amino acid asparagine as making it part of the compound in question, while actually the intended compound includes the D isomer of asparagine. The position of the Federal Circuit was that making this change, which was documented by scientific evidence in the record, constituted correction of a minor error, since it did not change the scope of the claim since it was clear to scientists what compound was intended to be designated by the erroneous structural formula. The Federal Circuit also held that, since in this case the applicants claimed only what they had produced, the daptomycin molecule, which they identified in several ways. The court noted that the identification of the molecule in the specification was sufficient to inform a person skilled in the art that the inventors were in possession of the daptomycin molecule even though the structure that they ascribed to it was inaccurate in one respect. Finally, the Federal Circuit also held that granting the Certificate of Correction did not violate the recapture rule, which prevents reissued patents from claiming subject matter that they gave up during prosecution of the original patent, because no claim had been limited to the erroneous formula to overcome a prior art rejection. The bottom line in this decision is that even a serious error in both the specification and claims, such as an error in a structural formula used to define a chemical compound recited in the claims, can be corrected by a certificate of correction procedure rather than requiring the use of reissue procedure, if you can make a case that the scope of the claims is not changed by the correction. Thank you for joining me and I hope you learned something today. Stay tuned to bskb.com for more upcoming cases and other commentary on intellectual property.